Hi guys, coming at you today with a quick little video on some PTR testing we did on Zune, the Fallen Oracle. Um, pretty easy, standard patchwork fight. Uh, some mechanics can be a little tricky, but nothing too major. I think most people will pick up this fight relatively fast. I don't think this is one people are going to get stuck on um, as far as like racing the world first, as far as, you know, just progression for your average typical guilds. Um, this boss is kind of simple. Uh, nothing too fancy. What I will say is uh, it does require you to hold cooldowns, I believe, to break through the shields at some point, so you're not going to want to use them on pool necessarily. I think later, the later we go in the patch, maybe you will, um, but I think for progression-wise, you're going to want to hold cooldowns at the beginning. Um, you may still lust at the beginning, but it's kind of up to the guilds. Maybe you lust on the first shield. Uh, I don't know, but with that being said, let's uh, go ahead and get into it and... Uh, See you in the video. First day low, just make sure you're spread. First dad's out. Watch the halo. Well, we had less than all well, we had less obviously it's going to be much better. So right here, you'll notice that the boss that is about to cast this Barrage ability, which will target one player. It'll put a yellow indicator over their head, uh, which you'll see the, the druid on the left getting. He's going to go into bear form. Um, and then multiple people are going to have to soak that for him, or he'll die, or you can get an immune to soak it. Um, and basically, it knocks back everyone three times uh, who's in front of the soak. And yeah, it's just kind of like a little simple soak mechanic, but it doesn't get soaked the first time it to die. So you want to split up your raid. It's, it comes in sets of two. So you kind of want to have like melee soak one and range soak another one, or uh, maybe group one, group two, group three, four splits. However you want to do it, there's multiple ways. That's just uh, something that needs to be made aware of for this fight. Our core is coming. Are we just full swapping this? Yeah, I think so. You just gotta start thinking about saving stuff for the shield in uh, 20 seconds or something like that. I think the first shield is honestly a healing issue. Like, no meme, we just have to out heal it. That's fine. like seven seconds now. So, this so clear, can you us? So right here, you'll notice that the boss is about to jump uh, to teleport over to the side here, and she's going to get a shield on top of her. While the shield persists, uh, she does a massive AoE damage the entire raid um, until the shield breaks. So right here is where you're going to want to use cooldowns um, to break the shields uh, pretty fast, and then also you want to use healer cooldowns here to keep everyone alive, because as you can see, we're taking a lot of raid damage right here. So in this part right here, there's a spell or a cast that's going to go off um, by Dazoon. And basically, it's going to cause a expanding black circle to fill up the entire arena. And it's going to have multiple. There will be one, a second one, and a third one, and I think a fourth one later on in the fight. Um, and basically, each time you cross one of these circles, the line, you get a debuff for around eight seconds that says if you cross another line, you instant die. So what you want to do is cross one and then wait the eight seconds and then cross another one and then wait eight seconds and etc etc right but if you're a class that can blink over it or if you're night fae with soul shape or venthyr with um i forget whatever your teleport thingy is uh, you could use that to get across the lines without getting a stack of the debuff and you can actually there's certain spots uh, spots in the map where you can cross multiple at once so things to consider as you're going throughout this fight We have one more ad that we get here. Yeah, and the halo. No, the ad and halo at the same time. Alright, yeah, halo's coming out, ad spawning. So switch to the ad and then get ready to do the halos as well. 
We might have poop on purple when she teleports. Well, we'll see. So shield's coming shortly. Oh, this last little clip is just our best pull of the night. Uh, I think we got it to like 46% or something like that. Um, and just kind of goes over where I'm using cooldowns and things like that for Hunter. But you could also just move it back. It's just for the front all. Get that boss out of here. Yeah, that was not in front of the boss. I think she wasn't faced that way, so it was a random person. That's what I figured. Yep. So I got it from melee. Like now you can move the boss back. It's just to dodge that frontal. I think that's fine, right? Yeah, lose a lot of clues, but yeah, it's I, I, okay. I don't. I don't think that's good. Yeah, yeah. That's true. yeah, especially with like how low yeah. HP the ad has, most classes are gonna lose the entirety of their clues. for them all and just stay in one spot. Yeah, loose spread. Just outside yeah. the range. Yeah, I'm taking us. Now we prep for double halo. This is and the core. This is the this ad is really important to die with us. But prioritize saving yourself. If you have to get the halo in the loop, you should be doing that. Oh, I can a tur a turtle, turtle, turtle. Tur okay. Do the shield. Watch out for that line, it's super cruel. What? Watch out! Okay. Do do we maybe move for these halos? Like, is it worth it to walk the boss from skull to blue? an issue if we have an add up, but if we don't, hell yeah. Yeah, a lot of people can do that, by the way. Leaving each other over here, though, is the problem. Yeah, I, mean, so, I, I don't think you can go anywhere for this for the, for the second phase. Or the triangle one is fine. Yeah, skull, we could practically just kill. 
यहाँ पर मिलते हैं तो You can optimize that more by having like same mages do the same thing, but at the second, like blink over the first explosion and then wait at the second. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like or subscribing, I uh, really appreciate it. I am just trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can finally get uh, this channel monetized, which just means that all the ads that you see in the beginning of the video, anyways. increase ads or anything like that. Uh, anyways, hope you guys uh, have a wonderful day. Peace out.